So it's done. Angel hug for April the 23rd, uh, Tuesday, April the 23rd. And um, just in keeping with our theme of ascension and the consciousness that we're raising within ourselves and collectively, um, I just really want to see what we've got from the Ascended Masters today. So detach from drama, Pallas Athena. And I think that's really a perfect card again, um, just in keeping with what came up yesterday about being really clear about what we want, what we're choosing right now, rather than buying into the reality that we're being presented with. So we still have that freedom to choose. So, but I'd also like to say, in terms of our own individual lives, that a way to raise our frequency, gosh, <laughs> raising our frequency is one thing. Staying in that higher frequency is another thing altogether, isn't it? I mean, you know, we might start the day feeling great, drink loads of water, have a really great um, fruity, high frequency uh, breakfast and spring out of the door listening to some really great inspiring music or some really uplifting um, content, if you like. And then something happens. You come across someone with a very 3D perspective or you have to go on the underground or, I don't know, you come across uh, people who are just numbing themselves out or you know just coping their way through the day or drinking their way through the nights and and just staying trying to stay unconscious and not noticing the endless fear that's being um, programmed into us or some silly thing happens you know like someone isn't very polite or it depends where you live or whatever and I know we're always attracting things however there are days when you know we do go out with all the greatest uh, expectations and the highest frequency possible and yes possibly we're unconsciously attracting those things because of of old programs and old past life things and expectations that we don't even know about however there are times when it doesn't matter what you do you're going to come across a particular kind of energy because you're living in it because you're a brave light worker who has decided to come in it and be a part of it and help to clear it to become you know involved in that consciousness to connect with it and to uh raise its frequency as well so there will be times when you do get in, come into contact with energies that you wouldn't necessarily consciously choose so tuesday is the day to detach from that consciousness that you don't consciously choose detach go inside put some music on put something on that's a bit more inspiring to listen to don't listen to those messages on the underground don't listen to any of that stuff don't read the newspapers detach 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 from all of it and stay in your space of what do I see for the future? Where am I going? What is the energy that will get me there? What is the energy that will help to bring humanity there? Who do I have to be? Who do I have to become? Who do I have to maintain the frequency of in order to really elevate myself and to show the way for others? And that isn't being pompous or arrogant, but there are a lot of souls right now on the planet who are looking for that doorway through into the new consciousness, who are not satisfied, whose higher self is saying, come on, we can't live like this anymore. And it's really time for us to step into our power. It's really time for us to do what we came to do. And some of us will do that by simply being who we are and staying detached and holding that frequency. And some of us will be more active and do both to be very practical and very active and hold that frequency. And sometimes it's challenging. So today is a really good day to think about where in your life are you getting drawn into drama? Where are you being distracted by something that's going on that isn't actually really of your conscious choosing and not for your highest good? And then we've got Pan, which is the card of fertility. So I would say this is a really fertile time for coming up with new ideas, with coming up with new imaginings about what can be, but you need to stay in a pure space where you can actually allow that fertility to come up to the surface. So if you feel that your mind is becoming overloaded with other people's consciousness or the consensus consciousness, withdraw and go into your own space, find the peace and quiet that you need, connect with spirit, 
talk to God, talk to the angels or whatever language you want to use and just say, right, I'm coming back into my heart. I'm coming back into that divine space because that's where all the fertility is. That's where infinite creativity is. And there are new and interesting and creative ways through this situation and into something that's more divinely creative and more right for me. And I'm just not seeing them yet because I'm being caught up in the drama. So for me, those two cards work really well together. And um, I hope that works for you as well. Have a great Tuesday, everyone. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.